<laughs> so Lloyd's been getting used this entire time. And we spent three discs chasing the bastard. We, we already know you're not all terribly bad, but um, you are terribly dead. Bye! This is awesome. See ya, Lloyd. It was good knowing you. Here we go, Emperor Diaz's true identity. You were there, I wasn't there. Let bygones be bygones. I'm just noticing noticing some indiscrepancies. I'm sorry, discrepancies with your uh, cutscenes here and what you're telling us. That's all I'm saying, Rose. Mm. Everyone's lying to everybody here. I don't know who's to say you're not lying to us. You got 11,000 years to think of shit. That's the first mini Ito we get to see. They um, referenced them when we were in Cadessa. We had to do it for the intelligence puzzle. Apparently they aren't a very intelligent species, but they're more intelligent than the uh, Gigantos, so. Or at least that's how the Winglies see it. Maybe that was like a Winglies vision of it, because of course the Winglies were the last one and they're supposed to be the most intelligent. But being able to use magic and intelligence uh, at least from what I've gathered from this game, are not based off the same thing. So that the moon that hasn't moved at all ever up there, that moon that never sets, is basically the egg and body of this just god of destruction mirage embryo thing. And the signet, which is one of the things that got destroyed in atop the uh, Crystal Palace, those are what is containing the moon. He was 
basically frozen in stone, still conscious for 11,000 years, I... I probably would have lost my shit too and gone crazy and tried to destroy the world after I came back, I'm not gonna lie. Is fact. Blessing is, uh, yeah, not such a blessing. Uh oh, wonder who that was. My wife had never played a true RPG before, and she figured out that Rose was the Black Monster by like, it's like somewhere on disc two. And I was trying to hide it from her for like ever, I was trying to hide it from her from, to this point, and uh, she just wouldn't have it. So, Rose has made it pretty obvious. But if you think about it, she's been doing this for 11,000 years, so she's killed over a hundred moon children, which is pretty impressive. But let's just say she kills an average of, let's just say like there's 20 people in one of these towns, so she's killed an average of like 20,000 people. Yeah. Or 2,000. My bad. Two, we'll say 2,000 people. No. 120. Like, yeah. 2,000. It's probably a lot more than that. 2,000 seems a little low for 11,000 years. The Princess Lu Luvia that she killed on the boat. Uh-oh. Who would've known? I don't think either of those are outcomes we're gonna get. This fate that bummer. 